dear children, how are you today? Wow, that's great! Before we start our lesson, may we all rise for a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Are you ready and excited with our new lessons? Very good. But before that, may we have some reminders. First, be prompt. Be ready to learn when class begins. Be prepared. Have materials with you. Third, be polite and positive participant. Write in a normal tone of voice and listen attentively. Fourth, be productive. Turn work on time and always do your best. Fifth, be a problem solver. Correct problems quickly and peacefully before they escalate. This time, let's review about weather conditions. Identify the weather conditions of the given pictures. Let's have number one picture. Correct! It is a sunny day. How about number two picture? Excellent! That is a rainy day. Third. Very good! That is a windy day. And the fourth picture. Excellent! That is a stormy day. And the last. Very good! Cloudy day. Very good answers. Children, let's name some weather instruments. What weather components do they make sure? Let's see this picture. Do you know what instrument is this? Very good! This is thermometer. So what is the use of thermometer? You are correct. Thermometer is used to measure temperature. How about the second picture? Correct. That is a rain gauge. Rain gauge is used to measure the amount of liquid precipitation over a period of time. How about this? Do you know what weather instrument is this? You are correct. That is a mercury barometer. It is used to measure atmosphere pressure. How about the last picture? What weather instrument is this? What an awesome answer. Psychrometer is used to measure the amount of water vapor in the air. Your answers are all correct. Very good. Yesterday, I told you to watch a weather report. Can you share it with us? What a splendid sharing! Why is there a need to listen or watch weather reports? You are right! Weather forecasts are important because they are used to protect properties and lives. It helps people plan outdoor activities. It also helps people with health problems 
related issues to plan the day, like heat stress, asthma, and allergies. Another is, people prepare for how to dress in a warm and cold weather. And now, let's have a group activity. I will group you into four according to your interests. You are going to make an interpretation about the weather based on the data recorded in it through drawing, broadcasting, role playing, and singing. Children, this will be your activity for group one. But that is group four. I will give you 10 minutes to do this. But before you go to your respective groups, can you give some reminders before doing the activity? That's right. You have to respect your group mates ideas, participate and cooperate with one another so that you will have a successful outputs. Here's your rubric that will serve as your basis in doing your activity. Discipline and cooperation, 5 points. Creativity, 5 points. Delivery and performance, 10 points. Relationship to the topic, 10 points. With a total of 30 points. Are you ready children? You may start. Do this in 10 minutes. Are you done, my dear children? Wow, that's great! You may now present your outputs. And after that, we will now process and give feedbacks to the answers of each group. Let us now discuss the results of the activities. What are the data recorded in your weather chart? That's right! The data recorded in the weather chart are temperature, wind speed and direction, and the sky condition. What can you say about the weather in Cebu on the indicated dates and time? Excellent! The weather differs on different days even at the same time. How will you describe the weather conditions in Pampanga? Tagaytay City and Davao City. Very good! The weather in these places differ too. What can you say about the weather conditions in Metro Manila, Visayas, and Mindanao? That's great! The weather conditions in Metro Manila, Visayas, and Mindanao differ from each other. What can you say about the weather conditions in Metro Manila, Bukidnon, Cebu, and Tugegaro City? Excellent! The weather in these places differ. How were you able to come up with a certain interpretation of the weather chart to you? That's great! To make an interpretation about the weather as recorded in the weather chart, we have to know the sky condition, the amount of the cloud in the forecast area for the period of time will help us. Another answer? That's great! We also look at the temperature, maximum or minimum expected for the forecast period. Data maximum temperatures usually occur between 1 to 4 p.m. Nighttime minimum temperatures usually occur at or near sunrise. Can you give another answer? That's right! Wind speed and direction should also be taken into consideration because wind speed refers to how fast the wind blows. It is usually expressed in kilometer per hour. 
The difference in wind speed and direction is due to an equal heating of the Earth's surface by the Sun. Children, why is there a need for us to know and be observant of the weather conditions? Weather reports are very important to inform and guide people about weather conditions, which could lead to protection of life and property. Is it important for us to obey the weather forecast given by the forecaster children? Yes, that's great! We must be obedient to protect our life and property. We must also follow the protocols and safety measures given by the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Manage Council and Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA. Children, are you excited for another activity? So based from the weather chart shown, choose a picture in the screen that best describes the activity that you are going to do. On December 29 at Cebu City, 7 o'clock in the morning, the wind speed is moderate, wind direction is, and the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius, and the sky condition is fair to cloudy. That's great! Another is in Baguio City. At 7 o'clock in the morning, the wind speed is light. Wind direction is north. The temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and the sky condition is clear. So what clothes are you going to use? You are correct! In Tobigoro City, in May, 20, May 30, at 7 o'clock in the morning, the wind speed is fair. The wind direction, south, and the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, and the sky condition is fine. What clothes are you going to use? In Davao City, on November 30, at 7 o'clock in the morning, the wind speed is moderate. The wind direction, west, and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and the sky condition is partly cloudy. So, what are you going to use? You are correct! In everyone in Tagaytay City at 7 o'clock in the morning, the sky condition is cloudy as thunderstorm. The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius Wind direction is east and the wind speed is light. So what clothes are you going to use? You are right! You are all very good children! This time, to check whether you understood the lesson, please bring out a piece of paper and do this activity. I will read to you the direction. Interpret the weather condition of given data. Circle the letter of the correct answer. Let's check your answers. For question number one, what is the lowest temperature of the day? A. 6 degrees Celsius B. 22 degrees Celsius C. 24 degrees Celsius D. 38 degrees Celsius And the correct answer is... You are right! Letter B! The wind speed measures 9 kilometers per hour. What does this mean? Light breeze, B. Gentle breeze, C. Moderate breeze, and letter D. Fresh breeze.
And the correct answer is letter B, gentle breeze. The wind speed measures 9 kilometers per hour. What does this mean? A, light breeze. B, gentle breeze. Letter C, moderate breeze. And letter D, press breeze. So the correct answer is, you're right. Letter A, light breeze. The sun is shining brightly. The air is still. It is warm inside. What do you think is the temperature of the day? A. High B. Low C. Very low And letter D. Normal So the correct answer is letter A. High What kind of weather does a high pressure system bring? A. Dry, stable conditions with little cloud B. Hot, humid days with high winds Letter C Rainy conditions. Letter D, a rapid increases in temperature. So the correct answer is, you are right. Letter A. What are the data recorded in a weather chart? A, temperature and sky condition. B, wind speed and direction. C, humidity and precipitation. And letter D, all of the above. So what is the answer? You are right! All of the above, letter T. For your assignment, children, make clippings of weather report or forecast. That's all for today. Thank you very much and stay safe. God bless us all.